Hi Bruce from Safari and this is a video showing the app, the new app that we have. These are on 48 volt batteries. We got three of them ganged together here. You can see there's uh, three parallel, three are online. So what this app does is it looks at the master battery, gathers all the data for the master battery, the battery capacity here, any current flowing, uh, the remaining capacity, the uh, state of charge is across all three batteries. We want to look at an individual battery. We scroll down to the bottom here. We touch the multi. We pick this first battery here, uh, double O, that you can see here. And in the details here, I can see the cell voltage min max, which is 3.327, 3.325. You've seen my videos before. We try to get these to within one or two millivolts. It's how the cells are selected. There's a temperature band in here. Uh, let's now have a look at the second battery and there's the second battery that we're looking at now and let's have a look at it and the second battery is sitting here 327 325 so exactly the same result and uh, so these are just uh, so precise in terms of the uh, cell differential let's now look at the third battery yeah, and so if I look at the third battery down here now I touch this, that's that one here, and let's look at the third battery here, 325, 327, exactly the same. Now let's have a look now at all the parameters that you can see. Uh, the user can see all of these. Uh, the OEM can change some of the switch settings on it. So let's just have a look at here. We've got cell voltages, we've got total voltage relative, so the first is cell, then we've got the total battery voltage, we've got charging, discharging, We've got heating because we can put heaters in these. We've got ambient temperature, the impact of it, power temperature, overcurrent, uh, the equalization opening pressure difference here, which is 0.03 because our cells are between 0.01 and 0.02. So uh, we've got delay, we've got capacity, we've got compensation. Now, if you're an OEM, and it may be that there's some of these features you want to turn off. Now the end user cannot do this, it can only be done by us at the factory or an OEM, but let's pick one that may be turned off, an ambient uh, low temperature warning, we might want to turn that off. Now if I try to turn that off, I can't, I've got to actually put in the password, it's complex and it's encrypted, so it's, it's there for the OEMs that have specific types of applications where they might want to turn some of these features off. Now these batteries are used for uh, tenders with very high discharge. This battery can discharge at 7,600 watts. That's a huge amount of power. So these three batteries together here can run a 20 kilowatt uh, motor in a tender, uh, in an electric motor in a tender. And there, in that scenario there, there can be situations where some of the alarms and alerts here want to be disabled and it can. Now on the front, we've got protection, it's blank if there's any protection warnings and we've got alarms and that's blank. So for the user it's very simple to do. We then got the detail pages here that if there is an issue we can go in and have a look and if it's uh, something like a temp sensor that's come loose in these batteries vibration or whatever we can actually turn that off so it doesn't actually uh, shut down the battery. So that's the idea of adding those switches. It's, uh, it's a plan we've had to give more power to the OEMs, I've got to say, how good's that?